Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Oh, today we are going to be taking a look at the CRKT Fast Lane. There you go. There's some numbers on it. Model number 7045. The Fast Lane. Now, this does come to us via the Apex Pass Around Group on loan from CRKT. So thank you very much to CRKT for letting us check out the fast lane let's do that now, there's some pretty interesting features of this knife that we're going to be checking out but there's a good profile shot of it the fast lane is a matthew lurch design and we're going to start out there obviously with our black g10 handles You got a black stainless pocket clip for right or left hand. Deep carry, which is nice. Now, the fast lane is an assisted opening knife, but it employs what the CRKT calls its outburst technology. Now, you'll see here that your back spacer there, that's actually a stainless steel, kind of like backspacer that is connected to that spring mechanism and as I close the knife you can see the spring mechanism here in the back of the handle now that is the outburst technology you see it I'll flip it out and as you can see there now the spring now that the blade has deployed it is actually pressed, let's see if I can get, see as you close the blade, I don't want to close it on my hand, there, there, now you can see the, you can see how you're, there you go, there's your, on the back of the blade, right there above my thumbnail you see as a blade comes out that disappears and then the spring forces the blade out that is crkt's outburst technology it's their version of a spring assist kind of like kershaw speed safe going forward you've got an 8 cr14 mov blade Black washed with a black stone wash, I guess would be a best way to put it. There you go. Fast lane. Lurch design. There is your 7045 model number. As we saw in the box, it is made in China. Now this one is riding. There you can. You can see it. Phosphor bronze washers. Dual thumb stud deployment for that outburst assist there. Some nice texturing file work there on the blade just to kind of give it a little, just to give it a little flavor, a little zip, a little flare. Nice choil, pretty hefty choil actually. Definitely not, I mean you can't, ooh, yeah. I was it you could but man that corner I would definitely knock that corner down because I just put my finger up there and it wanted to it wanted to bite so if you're going to use it as a forward finger trail whew, I either don't recommend it or I recommend you modify it just a bit dual thumb studs thumb studs are pretty much out of your cutting path very well I mean they're offset very nice so that's not an issue. Nice kind of elongated drop or spear point on the blade. I really like that black washed finish. Snaps right out there. Hollow grind on it. V 
very nice looking. I really like the, it just comes to a really nice point. I really like the look of that blade. For sure. Let's get some measurement. All right. We're going to get grams first. So we're talking 117 grams, 4.1 ounces. So you can tell that that spring assist does add a little bit of weight. Your liners aren't very your liners aren't very hefty, so a lot of your weight is in that spring assist mechanism. What do we got here for dimensions? <coughs> Excuse me. We are looking at, oh, looky there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, just about eight inches long. On the handle, we're talking about, what, four and a half? So that would leave a three and a half inch blade length with about a three and a quarter inch cutting edge. Grip length, I'm gonna measure the grip length at right about, I will say three and three quarters on the grip length. And there you go. That's how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. So it pretty much comes, yep. Definitely, I can get a full four-finger grip. Um, do not really have a place for a lanyard on this one. So those of you with larger hands that like to use lanyards on smaller knives, mm, not necessarily an option on this one. Man, overall, I, I, I really, really... I am digging this one. I mean, it's extremely, extremely comfortable in hand. Was concerned about that pocket clip because obviously it does stand up. Oh, speaking of pocket clip, let's see just how deep that carry is. We don't want to miss that. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Nice. Not a whole lot exposed there at all. Very, very cool. Good smooth, in and out of pocket. Carries very nice. I mean, like I said, it was it was 4.1 ounces. So, I mean, that's not, to me, that's not heavy at all. But just, I mean, it's pretty easy to see that all your weight is in your assist mechanism there. The backspacer and your assist spring of the outburst technology. That's pretty much where all the weight is. But it carried fine. Uh, I had no issues with carrying it. It's, it is really comfortable in hand, for sure. Good grip. Now, your, your milling there, your file work, it's definitely not jimping. So, I mean, it doesn't necessarily aid in your grip at all. And like I said, you can, you can go forward on that blade. But, I mean, you're, you're angled towards the blade, so in use, your finger's going to naturally want to slip towards that blade. So, yeah, personally, without some modification, I personally would not use that as a forward finger toil. That's just me, though. Pretty decent access to the liner there, for sure. No issues at all accessing the liner. Lock up. Oh yeah, lock up's pretty darn good. Nice and solid. Overall aesthetically and usability, it's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good knife. Now, Normally, and I will this time, I would tell you what Blue thought, but Blue's kind of got another partner. So, get that in there. There we go. Blue actually has another partner. You see Blue over there? 
Oh, look who joined Blue. That's Boba Fett. We actually have Boba and Blue now. So, we're going to see how that's going to work out. We're going to see if they can get along and, you know, come to some sort of agreement on how to rate knives. Blue likes the fast lane. He gave it an 8. I think that's a pretty fair ranking. You know, and you can find these guys. You can find them anywhere from like 40 to $50. And I know that's a quite a decent range, but that's pretty much what you get. Some sites are selling them for close to $50. Some sites are selling them close to 40 I will, of course, leave a link down in the description. Or you can find it if you want to check it out. But... Not a bad price. I mean, $40. I mean, it's G10, 8CR, 14, you know. The the technology, I think the, the technology, the outburst technology is where the, you're getting your price from. That's that's about, that, that's just, again, my opinion. That's kind of my thinking of where your pricing comes in. So, agree, disagree, you know. That's just my kind of outlook on it but i appreciate it guys thank you very much for checking out the fast lane with me today and thank you very much to crkt for providing it to the pass around group and letting us check it out and as always thank you guys for stopping by saying hi and checking out the fast lane with me like subscribe leave me a comment guys you know i love talking to y'all until next time i'll talk to y'all later Bye-bye.